those of you who don't, you guys don't know me, except for Cassidy knows me. Um, my name is Marcy Gaston. I am a professor in hospitality management. I'm a chef. I'm a registered dietitian. Um, I teach in this classroom a lot, all year round. Um, I also teach over in Hannon. Uh, we have a, we took over the dining hall over there. We made it into a culinary teaching kitchen. Um, so, I teach students how to cook, basically is what I do. Uh, and I just finished my dissertation in the springtime and it was about your guys' age group, uh, why you don't know how to cook. So, do you guys feel like a little bit lost in the kitchen? Some of you, yeah, some of you not. Did you guys grow up with parents who cooked? I saw myself. You taught yourself, yeah. okay? And so you didn't grow up with parents who cooked. All right, so this is what I found out, is like it's a mixed bag. Uh, not all parents cooked, because for lots of different reasons. Um, and so maybe you didn't get those skills. Uh, maybe you just didn't learn those skills, you had to teach yourself, that kind of thing. Uh, so this class, it's one hour, we're gonna be making, I'm gonna split you guys into groups, and you each of you are gonna agree to make a very straightforward recipe you could do in a kitchen, um, a dorm kitchen. If you had a hot plate in your room, I don't think you're allowed. I don't know if you guys are allowed those. Okay, we don't do those. <laughs> um, you could do those on the stove. Um, some of you could do in the microwave if you really wanted to, but they're really meant for like, because you guys aren't going to be in the dorms forever, because eventually you will move out on your own, and we want you guys to have some skills. All right? Uh, first and foremost, we want you to eat healthy, so all the recipes are going to have some sort of vegetables in them, so we're not scared of vegetables. Alright, and the other thing is that these recipes are actually pretty accessible for your budgets. I know students are pretty crunched uh, for money, and food is really expensive now. It's not going to change. And here to, like, be Debbie Downer, the prices are here to stay. Um, and so we need to get used to cooking with these prices. And there's shortcuts and there's like, I'm gonna show you some different things. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you guys how to do, I'm gonna show you how to do some knife skills really quick. Um, all right, so I have my cutting board right here. I have this non-slip mat. Each of the stations has a cutting board with a non-slip mat. So what this does is it prevents my cutting board from moving around on the table. You don't need this. You could at home. You could use what paper towel? What towel? Something under there. Just keep it from moving around. Second thing is, is I have a knife. This is my chef's knife. I've had it for 20 some years. Um, has my initials on it. I cry when I lose it. Um, so don't take my knife. Uh, but you guys have knives like this around the kitchen. There's some shorter ones. This is just your typical chef's knife. You can get these in any grocery store different price points. Uh, these, this is expensive, this one's cheap. This one's like 10 bucks, this is probably like $100, right? Um, so, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure you take care of your knives and keep them sharp. Um, so when I hold my knife, because I don't want to hold it back there, I want to hold it so I grip it like this, so I have control of the knife. Um, and I want to make sure I'm right-handed, so my left hand fingers are not slayed out, so I cut my fingers off. I don't want to do that. I'm going to pull them back and make sure I don't have any fingertips sticking out. So I can swallow them. Okay. All right. First up, I have an onion. Uh, I'm going to show you the proper way to cut an onion. Most people will not remember how to do this. You can look up videos on YouTube how to cut onions properly. This is like the tried and true method from every chef around the world. Um, this right here is your root end, and this is your stem. So I'm going to cut off the stem. Cut off a little bit of the root. I'm leaving some of it intact. So I have two flat ends. And I'm going to go ahead and cut straight through. So I have two halves. Okay. And I'm going to peel off this outer layer just like this. two halves and how I know that I cut it correctly is that there's lines that I can see that are going this way. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and dice this up. So I'm going to put my, my root end right here. 
And I'm only going to cut about two thirds or three quarters of the way through. And then I'm going to make cuts vertically about two thirds or three quarters of the way through. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut like this. This is how you dice money. Right, does everybody do it this way? So you just like kind of hack at it, I don't know, until it's chopped. Okay. I don't know how to do it your way, so I know how to do it this way. All right, so this half, you do the same thing. Different types of kale. 
Uh, so kale can be found chopped up. The problem with the chopped up bag kale is that it's going to have the stem in there. The stem is really woody, kind of hard to eat. Uh, so I prefer to buy it still on the stem and then take the leaves off. Kale is pretty filthy, so it does need to be washed pretty well because uh, there's going to be dirt kind of hiding around in that stem area. All right, so you just pull that off. And how you deal with kale is you do a chiffonade. So this right here is curly kale. This one is called dinosaur kale or Tuscan kale or lacinato kale, curly kale. Three name, one name. Okay. Um, kale grows really well in the valley here. If you guys have heard of Towns Harvest Garden or Student Run Farm, they grow lots of kale. Uh, in the fall, they have a farmer's market uh, here on campus, so you guys can get fresh veggies from there. All right, so I'm going to stack this kale up, and I'm going to do this thing called chiffonade, just like this, and it just cuts it nice and small, and cut it again. This now is kind of chopped up, ready to go. All right, so that's how you do the kale. Then you put in some water and rinse it off. All right, so a couple other things. Cucumber, zucchini. You can mix these, mix these up. This is a zucchini, and this is a cucumber. How do I know? You can tell by the inside. They look different. So a standard English. It's a standard English. It's a hot house cucumber. All right, this one you can eat the skin. Those other ones you buy in the store have wax on them, you have the peel box. This one you don't, okay? All right. All right, now, each of you are going to, I'm having four groups in here, so you four can be there, I need four there. Hold on, how many people do we have? 12, currently. 12, 12, 12. Three each, okay. Three, 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 three. All right, so this is how it's gonna work. Over here, you guys are going to make a one pot macaroni and cheese. Okay, so you guys have broccoli in there. You guys are also going to make a salad where you guys, you know, skedaddle. Um, to let you guys know, this right here is a very convenient way to eat salad. It's $4. This is cheaper, it's $1.79. We have to cut this up. <laughs> you have to clean it, but anytime something is packaged like this, it's going to be way more expensive. All right, so if you can have the time to chop up your own stuff, you'll save money. Uh, the other thing with the cheese is back there. I want you guys to use this block cheese, um, but there's some convenience cheeses out there, some already shredded versions. Um, I'm going to make you guys go through the, the shredding process. With them. Okay, they're all about the same price. Cheese doesn't really matter. Um, so, but this one has a different flavor. All right. So you guys are making mac and cheese and a salad over here. You guys are making ramen bowls. Um, and then over here, there's a quick coconut curry with uh, garlic naan. And then over here, you guys are making Tex-Mex rice bowls. So what we're going to do is you guys are going to make. Make your recipes, and I want everybody to try each each person's recipes. So just make a big batch, and you get you can go around and try everybody else's stuff. Okay, and you guys can go home with food.